bite. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a pretty nice for this area. That's a nice little fish. I am really surprised that I was able to get this. Oh, he just shook my dump, yum dinger loose. Oh, not a bad fish. Hook him right to the bottom of the mouth. That's a nice little spotted bass. Probably a pound. Let's see if we can get a, do a picture this way. Not very big, but hey, it's over a pound. I'll take it. <laughs> there he goes. All right, I'm going to a, another little spot down here. Um, I don't know if you watch the news, but all over the country there's been this trend where uh, guys in creepy clown costumes have been popping up all over the place and scaring people. Uh, Last night, it was on the news, well, it was on the news today, but last night there was an incident. Uh, where I'm driving right now is, uh, it's up a little bit further. I'm turning in. No, I guess I'm not turning in here. It's closed. Oh, well. Anyway, there was a... Last night, up here, there's uh, something called the Ghost Tracks in San Antonio. And there's actually a train next to me. And I have nowhere to go. The road dead ends up here. And the train's blocking the only exit, so i got to find a way to turn around. But last night, the, the Ghost Tracks were up here. <clears throat> and there's a group of girls uh, that wanted to, to... They were just doing what everybody does when they come down to the Ghost Tracks. And this is actually it right here. This, this little... It says do not stop on tracks. They put that sign up here so much because this is the ghost tracks right here. And this train is stopped and there's nowhere for me to go. And so I gotta turn around. Anyway, they were here and they were messing around. What you do is you stop up here. And the reason the thing says do not stop on tracks because if you stop on one side of the tracks or on the tracks and uh, leave your car in neutral the ghosts will come and push your car over the tracks because apparently back in the 40s or 50s or whatever there was a school bus that broke down on the tracks there and the train hit them and killed all the kids and it's supposed to be the ghost of the kids pushing you over uh, it's complete bullshit because you're you're facing downhill when you do it so if you put your car in neutral on a hill of course you're going to roll downhill and that that whole uh, ghost track thing, it, it never happened. Uh, the, the school bus getting hit by, by the train, that never happened here. There would be some kind of news article about it somewhere, the libraries or something. There's not. But anyway, the girls were out here, they're messing around doing it. And this guy in like a, a Pennywise the Clown, like it kind of thing, snuck up on him and scared him. And that made the news for whatever reason, because I guess it's a trend now. But. Yeah, the train train's still there. It's just sitting here blocking the the road. There's nowhere to go. Uh, a lot of this was all private property back here, but all these entrances to this private property, they're all permanently closed off. So I see a couple of cars heading this direction. The park entrance is closed down there. Closed at 5. I didn't realize it was already 5.30. Uh, I'm going to have to try to figure out a way to get around on the other side. Maybe it's open, but... Anyway. That car just passed me. They're, they're not going anywhere. 
at this point, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So, yeah, some dude scared him. He was dressed like a clown. It was on the news. And there's a train blocking me. So, whatever. I was just going to come down here because I see people fishing down under this bridge all the time. I was coming down. There's a trail of bones all the way down the trail leading to right here. And this is a big, big catfish. Uh, this thing, this would have been at least 15 pounds. That's, the head is about six inches across. It's a skeleton. The bones, there are some other bones are up there. So I don't know, maybe somebody caught it, ate it down here or something. But I don't know. There's obviously some big fish around here then. There's another bone here. Looks like eh, one of the fins. I left all my gear up in the car because I've never been down here. I just wanted to check it out see what it looked like. I don't know where a fish like that would have came from. This is only about a foot deep. But people fish here. I don't know where this goes, but I'm going to have to check it out. As it's here, here's some more bones. This is actually the lower jaw of a catfish. Or something else. So there's two very large fish here. That one actually looks like a pelvic bone for a different kind of animal. Maybe a dog or something.